All right, guys, what is up? What is up? What is up? Uh, today, we're going to be continuing on with the Republic of Georgia. We're going to be going through a parliamentary election uh, today. So that's going to be fun to try and uh, win this election. Uh, hopefully, once we do win this election, we do go on to join the European Union. That is the main goal uh, of this series, mainly, is to join the European Union now. Uh, we're kind of getting a good cap on our economy. We're also doing pretty good uh, in other means. We're democratizing. We're doing a lot of other uh, things for Georgia. And we're also strengthening the military. So the final goal is to join the European Union. So let's go ahead and transition this over. You guys should see the game now. Not as uh, bad of an introduction as the last one. <laughs> last one, it was literally just like uh, like OBS was just acting all kinds of weird. I need to figure out, if you guys have any suggestions of uh, different types of recording software, um, definitely like that. Nah, I gotta hit that like, can't do that to my boy. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Quackshot? Welcome to the live stream. Haven't seen you since I left for Vegas. Yeah, I did notice. <coughs> I did notice that the there were uh, three dislikes, even though I literally hadn't even started streaming yet. So if we could get uh, more likes than dislikes on this video, that'll that'll help out. Here, let's look. So we are actually, yeah, and by other things that I'm talking about, we're also, we are paid off a substantial amount of debt uh, in Georgia. We literally only have about 10% of our GDP being covered by debt. We also have a $1.1 billion treasury reserve. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we are going to pay off... Let's pay off Japanese. That way, we literally, the only, let's look. Yeah, the only one that we have more than a billion is now Germany. We now owe the Japanese $218 million. And we owe the United States $807 million. By the way, if this music is too loud in comparison to my voice, just tell me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down just a tad bit. So, uh, let's go ahead and continue. Let's go over here. Uh, tax exemptions. That is total. We also need... We really need to increase the retirement pension. But... Oh, wow. We are... Damn, I think it's because of our debt reimbursement literally being, like, minimal. Got eight people watching. Let's get people to like this video. Had about three dislikes before we even went live. So let's get, um, let's uh, get our, get your favorite YouTuber up uh, in terms of uh, the like to dislike ratio. Launch we'll cyber protection. We have a silver rating. Citizen awareness, cybersecurity. Let's go. And if you are not watching in the last video uh we now are a member of nato we are now a part of the north atlantic treaty organization therefore the rest of europe now has committed itself to defending georgia in the case of any attack from any uh, other nation so if the russians do decide to attack then we will have the rest of europe to defend us hopefully hopefully they don't betray one of their nato allies look at our health rating child mortality rates is 10 Niger has a hundred out of a thousand wow wow look at that child mortality rate in Niger uh, number of seropositive is uh, going down but then deaths due to AIDS is down as well. Let's look at our... Wow, look at that. 46% of our nation dies from heart disease. 25% die from stroke. Let's go ahead and see what the 
causes of this are and see what we can do. Uh, alcohol, rich foods, insufficient quality, a public health. I think I have an idea what we can do. Let's go over to taxation and then let's go over to creation and let's do tax on salt and animal fats in the agri food sector. Its purpose, its purpose is to limit the consumption of foods that are judged to be unhealthy by increasing the value added tax on products that are likely to encourage cardiovascular diseases and obesity. So we can go ahead and increase the tax on this to 1% and we get this passed. And what is the opinion of the people that this would be going to? Remember, nation states can't like until Abkhazia is free. <laughs> Are you talking about I need to give them independence in order for you to like this video? Come on, real random American. Dominate the spice melange market. Where is that? Tax the spice too. Let's increase the agri-food tax to 2%. This is not. So again, this is the biggest thing about this. Some of you are probably watching this going like, why is he doing this? It's it, it, if you've if you've watched my economic tutorial with Gabe Vogel, by the way, welcome. Welcome to the stream, Gabe. Uh, everyone go subscribe to Gabe. Go subscribe to Matt Gagnon. But uh, definitely go subscribe to Gabe. He helped me out on the on the. Uh, 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 what do you call it? The economic tutorial. But basically this is to stop a certain thing from happening so because so many people in my country are dying from strokes and heart disease then we can use this tax to curb that so we actually made tax to spice it's a dune reference forget it <laughs> i haven't watched dune yet i haven't watched it i want to go see it in a theater i don't want to watch it i don't want to watch it on hbo max uh, like, I like HBO Max a lot, but I don't want to watch uh, Dune on uh, on there. I want to go see Dune in the movie theater. Anyway, let's go ahead and see the opinion of the people. People are kind of like, eh, on this. Um, but I think we will uh, lower some taxes in the future. Let's see what the reaction to that it will be. Agriculture is a little, eh. It'll probably hurt our fast food sector. Bozel, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Look at that. Look at us flatlining at 11% inflation because our growth rate won't go below 5%. Oh, oh well, I stand corrected. It's actually really good to have a... Have a lower... Um, what do you call it? Have a lower, um, I, I literally, I literally just lost my train of thought there. <laughs> I wonder you guys disliked. So, oh, this is what I need to do. Let's, we need to start doing some, uh, student exchange pro programs with Finland. See what their reaction will be. It's true that the blue can cannot be described as fatal to arrests. What was that? No effect. Refused with Finland. Countries of comparable size and importance to us. Okay. And then these are all from the credit agencies. I need to see what my credit rating is. 5% growth. Probably because of the the, it's the beginning of the year. Usually growth resets at the beginning of the year. So we need to make sure that it's going to be staying at 5%. I want to keep it there at 5%. Alright, come on guys. Let's get more likes on this video. We need to, to get to a positive amount of likes. United Nations confirmed that catastrophe is coming. Every year, we have, almost none of the major CO2 emitting countries have reached our goal. We are all headed straight for an altered and uninhabitable world for our children. Hmm. Year 2028. We are now 20 year, two years from. Uh, sorry, I gotta. 
Apparently I got a donation. Down with the DPRK. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, what was that? Quackshot, thank you so much for that donation to the Cash App. You guys have a Cash App? Go ahead and uh, 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 donate to your boy. Um, it's a politics gaming, capital P, capital G. Apparently it's case sensitive whenever it comes to Cash App. I didn't know that until like I did a photography thing. And I was just like trying to do it. And I was just like, oh, it's case sensitive. Parliament, ta uh, tax on agri agriculture, whatever. Um, the bill has. And do we see any immediate effects on on that? Forty six twenty five. We'll take note of those. United Nation, sanctions none, adopted. You know, I literally proposed that thing for Zimbabwe, but that never went to a vote. That never went to a vote. Like, am I able to slap sanctions on them now, or...? So, like, if I wanted to ban... They said it was enough for sanctions, so does that have to go to a vote, or can you immediately start slapping sanctions on Zimbabwe? I haven't done a unit. I haven't played with the UN in a while. So we have an election in November waiting to go to that election. That's basically the uh, the gist of the episode that we're doing right now. <laughs> Apparently teachers still want higher salaries. Five percent growth. We could actually probably afford another pay increase. Usually these strikes last a week. So how much? That I could probably afford a increase in the pension. Let's go over to Armenia. Let's go to Secret Services. Approach. Let's do uh, political spying in Armenia. Can't stay along but hell but hello. What's up, Vladimir? A nuclear meltdown in Belarus. Apparently we have really good relations with Turkey now. I also figured out that I think I want to do Greece as the next uh, live stream playthrough. So if you guys are down for a Greece playthrough, uh, let me know. <clears throat> I wonder how many Greeks are in the chat. What was that? Sympathizers? 200. Regional popularity, 81. National popularity, 16. It's awful. No, no, it's not a suicide. Uh oh. Once that, once usually this goes down, <laughs> eh? I mean, it went down a little bit right here, and then it went back up. Electoral promises. What have I not mandated? Company tax twenty-three. It was up there.
What else have we got? Manpower, police. Oh, ho, ho. Something I find super odd is that South Korean, South and North Korea have dark green relations in game. <coughs> I think that's because of the, uh, that started after the 2018 edition, or the 2019 edition. It's mainly because of the cooling of relations. There was another nuclear meltdown in Japan. Really? Really, Japan? Really? And Sendai? South of Nagasaki? Uh, but yeah, it, it's mainly because of the cooling of relations between the two countries, where they're basically saying, yeah, we're going to go ahead and unify. Not yet, but they they want to unify. All oh, these pandemics just, epidemics just like popping up all over the world. Oh, there's Ebola in uh, uh, Comoros. Never even heard of this country. Are they even playable? They are. Gross. Interesting. Their population, 925,000. 2.1 billion dollar GDP. They don't in this edition. Okay. I haven't played South Korea since 20, 2020 edition. Our infiltrated agent. Really? I got in once. Our infiltrated agent has been spotted and murdered. Why are there so many nuclear meltdowns all over the world? There's a nuclear meltdown outside of Mexico City. The Laguna Verde nuclear power plant. Oh, look at that. There's a cholera epidemic in Paris. Paris. And Patty! It's my electricity surplus. Still healthy. Those are dis four dislikes already. I don't know. It's called We Do a Little Bit of Trolling. We do a little bit of trolling here. It's probably just a couple of people, or it's like the the AFM gang, where like uh, he was trolling me a little bit uh, the other day, and they just like the they just like to the troll. But I'm not pointing any fingers. It could be them, or it could just be a couple of subscribers that are just like, haha, funny. It's like funny. Hell yeah, I like it. Yeah, I don't know why people are disliking it. I, I literally got like three dislikes before this even started. So go, just go ahead and like the video. That way we don't have the uh, dislikes bringing down the video. Renewable 29%. 49% of the country recycles, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Re reduce, reuse, ikiki. My CO2 emissions. Uh. City transportation. Let's go ahead and do tax reduction for using clean energies. That, since we do have the. Oh, please tell me. No! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? Why is my party unsupportive of renewable energy? You are. Is that nine zero now? I liked it, even though you aren't pro Abkhazia independence here. 
Is there an Abkhazian in the chat? Have we found the Abkhazian? Hey, to be fair, you're, the Abkhazia is actually putting up a pretty good fight here. Like, they're not going down easy. South Ossetia was able to go down easy whenever I, whenever I, uh... Because I invaded them, like, in the early episodes of this series. Um, South Ossetia literally just dissolved. Like, I didn't really have that much of an issue. But Abkhazia, oh yeah. Yeah, like, they're, like... I, I'm literally having a hard time trying to take out three mercenaries. And they've been able to go through and they've been... They've committed some pretty bad attacks in uh in uh in in georgia like there was like uh like they've been these are the last recorded actions so they have like a assassination there was a couple of times where there was like these sniper attacks and it made it actually made me in the chat depressed a little bit because <clears throat> it was like these sniper attacks in like putizi and uh tbilisi where they literally just started sniping into these supermarkets and killed like 80, 90, almost 100 people in these attacks. And these were like the large scale attacks. Like I've, I've tested these before and these were like the largest of the large scale attacks. Like that's the largest scale attack you can go down. Um, so it's like, it's insane. Huh, I didn't know uh, The Eternals was out. So many movies coming out now. I think the first attack was like... It was It was like around 100 people. I don't think it ever pierced 100, but, but those snipers were like... Oof. It was a sniper, and then there was also uh, a poisoning in... I think it was either Tbilisi or Gori. Um... Some of the usually these have kind of like taken place in like Gori, Kutizi, and Tbilisi, and like it was like a it was like a poison attack. the The poison attack is the largest scale attack that you can do in this game. It was like a poison attack. That one is the one that actually ended up killing like hundreds, not 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 like you know a few dozen or something like that. It was like hundreds of people. In, in one of the cities. Um, and then there was like several instances like what like within the same amount of time of each other of just like straight up sniper attacks. Have you held a referendum in Abkhazia? No, I have not. And I don't want to hold a referendum in Abkhazia. I mean, I could and then I could come out against... Like, I could come over here, Abkhazia, decide against independence. Holding a secession referendum allows the people to decide whether or not they want their region to become an independent state. If they vote in favor, then the region will become a new independent state governed initially by the leader of the Muslim legitimate group. Loss of a region will not be welcomed by the rest of the country. Holding a referendum is more warranted uh, when there is a party or pro-independence terrorist group highly active in the region. Really high popularity might swing against independence. Well, why would I do that? Hang on, can I dissolve parliament? Damn it, no, I can't. Otherwise, I would dissolve parliament right now. Sky Fox night tonight too. Oh, it is. It is the fifth of November. Literally just realized when I heard fireworks outside. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's going to Cleveland. Hell yeah, we have a connection to Cleveland. Even though I don't know why it's coming out of a regional airport. We need to, need to build another large airport. Let's go. Yeah, of course. Long the bill has been. 
I mean, true. I don't know why I, I, why they would want to go to Cleveland. I kind of feel bad. Can we, can, all right, uh, not not to make a joke, but do they go over any enemy terror? Nope, they don't. <laughs> I it is not heard them yet though. Plane watching simulator. <laughs> Sounds like me playing flight simulator. Earthquake in India, a thousand dead. Oh. Legislation. Self-driving vehicles. Media, freedom of information. Destruction. 5G. We have not invested a dime into anything right now. Do 25% of the country covered by 5G mobile internet? Yeah, everyone would really like a investment into into this super high speed fiber optic. What if I wanted to do oh yeah, it's gonna be thirty-three billion dollars. I was deploying to South Korea. We flew into North Korea for like 10 minutes. Pilot was like, um, we gotta make a detour real fast. Seems like we went off course a bit. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, to be fair, I can actually see how that happens. Oop. It's like you're supposed to kind of go like this. Then you're just like, oops. All right, let's keep it going. Purchasing power declines. The hell it is. It's my purchasing power. Almost 10,000. It's my inflation. Ha ha, let's go. Inflation's down. Let's go. Let's keep growth right here. This is This is the best thing that we can have right now. Purchasing power declines probably because of the tax on gambling, lottery, racing, casinos. DS DFW to Russia over North Korea, then adjusted to China, never felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> Jesus. Look at that. Georgia, Bulgaria, Armenia, Denmark are all running surpluses. Average European Union is 5.18%. other elections do we got right now 2024 that was four years ago two communists or if that weird guy is still in there oh center formation french republicans So the United States also has an election this year. We're going to be watching over that. Britain. Ooh. Does that mean? Union of the Democratic. No, the conservatives are still in power. That's weird. I want to see how the conservatives are still in power like that. No election, of course. Strally oh look at that labor labor is still in power the six percent approval rating sounds about right proletarian front Jesus wait is that a woman in oh never mind Azerbaijan independence? Huh, 
That's funny. What about here? Centrist Democratic Alliance. Romania actually has regions now, which is awesome. Bulgaria is split up into two regions. Serbia. All I need is Bosnia and Herzegovina. Look at that. Kosovo's a region. I've used for our startups to dream all day of having featured unicorns under our brand and our businesses that will conquer the world with new innovative services. But to do that, we need to, we need to cultivate a more cultivate a more fertile field. 5G, Ms. Prime Minister, believe me, I meet these hyperactive startup founders every day and they will not hesitate to leave if we are incapable of providing modern framework that lives up to its name. But look at that. He still hates me. Probably because of the high taxes that I put on businesses. Romania, that's who we need a student exchange program with. What about Bulgaria? They really have strong suspicion. Uh, they really don't want to do anything with me. File, rent a van, watch content. Uh, yeah, I think we got it. I swear to God. I swear to God. Yes, thank you. We've proceeded. We proceeded to discreetly arrest the man. assassination of a politician. <coughs> Four hundred and seventy six million dollars and accumulation in, in the in the treasury. We got still three people. Let's try to infiltrate him again. Again, guys, leave a like, subscribe, help me out. Apparently, the Kurds are literally the only terror group that is still here. Well, there's Turkish Kurdish resistance. Well, that's in Turkey. I believe. That's in Turkey. I'm gonna make an independent Kurdistan overview gameplay or something. Or, or I can do the East Africa Federation. I meant to do a series about that, but... Oh, wait, hang on. Let me go over to Secret Services. Is the IRA in this game or an equivalent? I don't know, actually. Secret Files on Head of State. Production suspicions of nuclear weapons. Come on, I need you, I need you out. I'm about to god and spy them out. <laughs> Growth. What's my inflation doing right now? We're gonna keep interest rates still high. What does the political lines do? Let's go. Let's look. Political military alliance combines countries' common strategic interests to com commit to support and defend each other militarily. Yeah, it's essentially NATO. That is a political military alliance. 
kind of like they uh, see each other similarly politically. They have common interests, common goals, and so they uh, they form like this uh, political military alliance. There's a meltdown in Packer. There's just like a lot of nuclear meltdowns happening in this gameplay. Whole industry. Do we need to import? No. Well, kinda. Ooh, wait. No, that's two terawatts. Damn. I mean, now it still lasts us a long time, and we get rid of all of our. Get rid of all of our. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, fossil plants, <laughs> hydro, oh, wait, wait, not dismantle. We can do five, six hundred and eight million dollars with eight hundred and seven million financed by the treasury. Well, okay, let's do this. Apparently we're still, well, that's because I did like a spending project that actually took up some money. Eight hundred and six. Now let's use it on energy. We're going to build a plant. Gonna be done in twelve months. Fourteen thousand workers are gonna be used. Any more reimbursement? Jesus Christ! These things are so expensive. <laughs> Look at that! The almost deposed prime minister of Australia wants to meet up with us. Let's look. So we have this. Actually, let's go for a wind plant. Or maybe offshore. Oh, 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 oh god, that is expensive. A billion dollars. What can we get? Average. Cool. Let's have a booming economy on the side and literally fall out on the other side. <laughs> I guess we can go for another, like, annual reimbursement, 193. Is that 10,000 that gets taken away for 12 months? Point 0.5. Try a wind farm. Point eight four, of course, of freaking course. built a single nuclear power plant man because it would bankrupt my nation if I were to do that what is my structural uh, surplus right now 4% we're going to continue to make our way to the election we really need to get to November 
We're basically having an election uh, literally at the same time as the United States. Wait, what is my... Head of state mandates one term. Don't they... Doesn't Georgia literally have like six-year terms now? It went from like four to six for a five-year term. Starting in 2024, the president will be elected to for a five-year term at a 300-member electoral college. The office was introduced by the Supreme Council of the Republic of Georgia on 14 April 1991, five days after Georgia's declaration of independence from the Soviet Union. The president serves a five-year term. So we could up it by a year? Current president is Salome Sarubishvili. Because of Georgia's transition to a fully parliamentary system, she was the last president to be elected directly by the citizens. So should I, should I increase this to five years? That way, essentially, we're still kind of coinciding with, we're still kind of coinciding with the, uh, with the Georgia election. So if they're not going to have one in 2024, 2028 technically we're still doing good so this will just delay the election by a year a long mandate gives the head of the executive to time to implement his or her policy without worrying about the electoral electoral timetable and to strengthen his or her credibility on the international stage if the people support it just in case it's let's look so my party will support it. The rest of the parties will not support it. But the people do support a longer mandate. Let's go ahead and propose it. 70% of the parliament now supports. So if this goes through, it'll just delay the election by one year. Carrying out this great project of ours involves an unwavering commitment from the government and me. But it also requires extraordinary measures to respond to extraordinary challenges. It is in this sense that I ask you to support me today so that we can avail ourselves of the necessary political means to carry out an ambitious policy. And let's go ahead and see what the reaction to this is. Nothing. Attempt to eliminate head of state of Azerbaijan. Let's do it. Finally, your supports your party supports something. I know, right? I know, right? Currently turning on the news on my Roku right now. Just to, oh, for for whatever reason, it's actually really nice to have a Roku, and then a Roku basically literally. Uh, Oh, the funeral of Colin Powell is occurring today. Um, but yeah, it's 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 actually really cool that uh that I can like stream and especially during like elections, like I like that was like huge being able to watch the news. By an aircraft carrier sounds like a sensible investment. Yeah, I want to pursue dominancy in the uh in the Black Sea. What, am, what else? What am I gonna do? I. Can, I can buy more ships, but I don't know what I would do with the carrier because the only person I would be using it against is, uh, well, I mean, okay, we're going to think about that. That's actually not that bad of an idea. I really want to increase this to 25, 20,000, but 
Oh yeah, we have. Anti-missile batteries. What about rank three? I think we have. No. Rank three? Haha, we do have. Buy an aircraft carrier to protect your one oil platform. Inflation is now under 9%. Maybe we could afford lowering the interest rate to 15%. It's going to cost $1.7 billion. People are going to say that's a really bad contract, but I don't have a choice. Failed assassination attempt. <laughs> But they can't trace it back to us, so that's good. Get another strike. Give it seven days, we'll be good. You know what? Actually, that's what we could do. Let's increase funding to education. Been needing to do that anyway. I really, really, really want to start investing in health. We really, really need to start doing that. 46%, 25% for mortality right now. Wait, 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 wait. Please tell me I put him under investigation. Okay, I did. Bought a drone, had an altercation, and a cafe. gonna wait until it says if something's about to happen although your economy although your economy is among the healthiest so we got a triple a from grumpies and an a single a from harshness quiche and uh qigong 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 no chi i think it's chi Always carries a firearm on his person. We have strong suspicion. Yep, there it is. Everything. and neutralization. Cool, cool, cool. We really need the event where it basically says, like, we, like, stopped it from happening and we got, like, a ton of information off of this group and actually, like, chopped off the head of the organization. Did you see Colin Pow Powell's funeral? I have CNN on right now, but they're talking about Ahmad Arbery. You legalize up firearms to a license system. No, I didn't change that law. 
Unless I did try to do it, but then everyone else was just like, no! It's an assassination. Uh, so it's usually whenever it was like a, we stop like a, like a nationwide like attack or something like that. And that's usually when... Whenever those are stopped. Inflation 8.89. Birth is at 8. God dang it, come on. Wait! Yes! Following our investigation after the arrest of the head of the organization, we have uncovered. Oh, please tell me that just took it out. It's true. Come on, are you kidding me? Oh, infiltrate. How does that not... I hate this game. I swear to God. You are discover to environment, legislation, clean energy, let's do home. Car. They really don't support either. This is why we need a little bit of left wing representation in the party, because some of these environmental policies I really need to get passed. The bill so let's look yep 532 days until the next election so that means that's parliament 11 11 29 therefore we now coincide with the next presidential election after 2024 for georgia we've extended our term by one year So does that do it for Parliament as well? Yes. Parliament's term. The competition. Growth is going up for some reason. I don't know why. Apparently, we took a two billion dollar loan from Indonesia. What the hell. Hell yeah, let's give let's give a fifty million dollar subsidy to my Georgian film industry. And ten million dollars to the music industry. Now I know this is gonna make growth go up, but $58 million off of uh, urban transportation and $11 million off of profits. With a productivity index of 1.081. Okay. 
people can nice now people can watch the life of Stalin in full 1080p. PG subsidizing Dune Part 2 filming in Georgia. Okay, so I think I'm gonna cut subsidies to carbon nanofiber. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's cut. Let's cut subsidies to uh, computer hardware. Oh, I bet people are gonna hate this. Let's see what the reaction is. Huh? No. Aluminum. What's this. We're gonna keep subsidies there. Let's. Cut subsidies in half to building housing and roadway. And let's also... Do we have any exonerations given out? We need to look to see. So apparently in a secondary... Well, we're giving aluminum some exonerations. I think we can raise those. Bottled water... Yeah, this industry is definitely on its feet. Let's cut subsidies. Great public holography. Nano robotics industry. Sep Jesus. Oh, it's because of like the. I think it's like the AIDS thing or something. Biotechnology. What's our biotechnology sector doing? Fuel cell batteries. Zinc, nickel, chemicals. There's a couple of the sectors that we need to, that we need to look at. Well, actually, I have an idea. Let's start from the top. Let's start from the top. And we can do this. So aeronautics. Don't need to worry about that yet. Aircraft carriers, good. I mean I mean we can start production on that. I don't think that's even a modern carrier. That looks like the, the USS like Lexington or something. Aluminum is okay. Anti-missile batteries. Let's give like $10 million of subsidies there. Armed pickup trucks. We're not a terrorist group. Automobile construction. Let's... Oh, we're already... What are they doing? Let's keep subsidies or uh, exonerations there, and I guess we'll give them about $25 million of subsidies. Oxides, we're importing that. Biotechnology, not started up as a sector, but I know it's going to cause a lot of growth, so we're not going to worry about it. Bottled water, I think we're still... No, we cut subsidies. Building housing and roadway we already dealt with. Carbon nanofiber, cut subsidies, cement, chemicals. This one, this is the big one. They're not exonerating them. They're doing good. Clothing, combat robots. Peter Hardware is doing a lot better. Tempted to do start up. On these let's do 15 million dollars into electric utility vehicles and 15 million dollars into electric automobiles consumer electronics way better wow Do we have an import contract? Yeah, we do. Diamond. Very small sector, not a lot of demand. Oh, look at that. Electric. No wonder this became such a large sector. Electrical materials is producing $7 billion of sales. $7.3 billion of sales. Just by electrical materials. That's probably... Yeah, it's driving up electricity demand. 
Apparently, moderates are seeking a CBO score before a vote on the $1.9 trillion bill. So electrical components is growing. Fighter planes. We'll sell batteries. Uh, gold. We actually have gold. Let's increase our production of gold. Oh. Onyx, Republic Holography, Helicopters, Household. I'm just going to keep looking. I wonder if I have silver. Lead? Well, what I do want to grow is my natural resources. But we don't have lead. Unfortunately, no lead. Naval construction, nickel. We do not have nickel. Do we need to import it? No. Paper. Actually, yeah, it's, it requires electricity and sy synthetic fibers because it's all digital paper now instead of like paper paper. Pharmaceuticals. Very complex sector here. Plastics. Rare earth oxides. I think, yeah, we're already importing like $400 million worth of that. Silver. Not have silver. $10 million. Sodas. Software. So we have computer hardware, but we don't have that much. Well, we actually have a lot of software. $950 million in sales. Nearly a billion dollars in sales there. Up from 500000 in profits and $57 million in sales to $950 million in sales and $153 million in profits. Steel. We have a contract. Yes, we do. When does this expire? 2020. Ooh, shoot. We're going to have to sign another renegotiated contract with the Ukraine very soon. Synthetic fibers. We're almost done. Utility vehicles. What does this require? Electricity, steel, aluminum, and electrical materials. I think we could be we could we could do this. Let's do 10 million dollars in subsidies there. Okay, let's actually do 50. There we go. Video games. Water supply networks. This is important. Let's increase production there. Is their financial status? Oh yeah, they definitely need some sub some exonerations. Gave them subsidies and exonerations, so that'll we do. We have strong suspicions that that always gets me. The funeral. Homeland Security director just died, so we're gonna have to appoint someone. Let's go ahead and go to cabinet. Appoint a new minister. Homeland Security. Party in power. And then go here. Kazia file. Proceed with an arrest. Hopefully that goes through. Yep. We've pre we proceeded to discreetly arrest. So we did have an election. We did have an election, but we are now a year. Wait, what? There were no victims. Right? Scandal. Oh, okay. I was like, what? It was a scandal. Here, let's look. Literacy rates. It's going down. 
higher education students is about to hit a hundred thousand. Probably need to build more universities. Women. Should be a voice. Should be a voice actor for the next Power and Revolution game using that voice. Which one? The. We proceeded to discreetly arrest. Whoa, 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 inflation. Whoa, inflation. That's too far. That is too far, inflation. Um, I am actually going to step away for like two minutes. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Apparently there was a... Wow, I literally left the game playing whenever I left. That is funny. Wow, I wonder how many days I just skipped over. Uh, but I've never made it to 2028. Look at this. Los Angeles Summer Olympics. Our sportsmen are ready. But if I may... A few words of encouragement before the national team's departure would surely galvanize the troops. Do you agree? All right. Yes, the 2028 Olympics are being held in Los Angeles. Actually, awesome to see. I think this is the furthest into the game I've ever played. I never... Like, even some of my older games, like... I think uh, after the coalition, or actually, I, I went up all the way into like 2026, 2027 or something like that. 
So yeah, 2028. I've never I've never gotten the 2028 in this game. Smog would be unbelievable. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Public servants now serve as 15% of the active population. In a North Korea, 83% of the active population are civil servants. Jesus. We're actually about to overtake Germany as the highest European power that, uh, that has uh, more civil servants working in the active population. Uh, I was like, I heard, I heard my voice. I was like, the hell? I was up. Sorry to be late. Oh, you're good. What's up, Nathan? Security service head of state. You know, you know, you know what I should do? I should do a game, like a community, like a, a PG community playthrough. Of Gary's Mod. How many of you guys have Gary's Mod? We need to play together. Go over here, NATO. That. Oh, love seeing Georgia a part of NATO. All, now all we need to see is Ukraine. Let's see what other organizations we can join. ACS. APEC. I mean... Taiwan? Taiwan? Oh yeah, Taiwan is an APEC. Had the internet for that. <laughs> Commonwealth of Independent States. Oh no, no sir. Collective Security Organization. Nope. EAC, East African Community. ECO. The ESA. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hey actually, let's join the ESA. ESA, and then... Poser, Nordic Council, OECD. I am not a part of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Here's the Sahel. This is like the new one that they just put in here. How much was that? 11? Jesus, 11? No, 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 no. IOR. LAS, join G20, yeah. Am I a part of the G20 yet? Far from. Let me look. Politics, economy, economic power. Oh yeah. I am about 80 more spots from uh from becoming part of the uh, I am about 80 more spots from joining part of the G20. Can you imagine Georgia is one of the top 20 economies in the world? You know what? Actually, since we've been getting so many epidemics, let me go over here. Prevention and vaccination. Prevention and vaccination, and then modernization of medical equipment. Hygiene. We're going to spend an extra $100 million on our health care. 
Okay, maybe 200 million. Nope, nope. Just a week. Oh my god. Let's increase all of these disciplines. As these smaller countries, really, once you start developing, these things are literally going to cost nothing. Number of medals at Summer Olympics 2024. Position in FIFA 72. Classification X. Number of medals X. Winter Olympics 2026, classification 64, number of medals, one. So hopefully by increasing these, we actually do increase the amount of medals we will take home. Crap, I didn't put him on our investigation. ESA membership refused. Given your geographical location, you cannot join this organization. Re Seriously? Fine, I'll go out on my own. You can win the World Cup. Never, I never watched the World Cup. I'm not much of a soccer fan. Opening of the Summer Olympics. <laughs> it is with pleasure that we welcome these athletes from around the world to compete for new and exciting records. I wish them very good luck in winning the most beautiful medals, and I therefore declare open the Summer Olympic Games. Do you guys think is going to crack open the 2028 Summer Olympics? You think it's going to be Trump or you think it's going to be Biden? Or Harris? How old is this lady now? 25. Can you imagine that? She's 25 years old. You know. Apparently, Niger and Nigeria have hostilities. 2,400 days ago. It's like six years. Somewhere around there. Libya is still in a civil war. Let's see what the military situation is around the world. So... Yep, Somalia still sucks. Ethiopia still sucks. Apparently Eritrea is under... Occupation? Or in a conflict. Apparently the whole area just sucks. Taliban still have control over northern Afghanistan. We have strong suspicions that... Zoinks, this... Scoob! Zoinks! Nigeria... Yemen, Ukraine, and this this area just never ends. There's always a conflict. How many people have died? 
Raging Conflict, 109,000. Current, 193,000 against 24,000. Very bloody on both sides. Ukraine and Russia. It's a latent conflict. You know they actually call this conflict between Russia and Ukraine? Uh, they literally call it the Russo-Ukrainian War. Even though it's kind of like a very low-intensity conflict, they still basically call it a war between Ukraine and Russia. And that's it's basically been going on since 2014. I remember this whenever it happened. Whenever the Russians basically almost launched a full-scale invasion of the Ukraine. And it got me worried that, that World War III was about to start. I'm pretty sure we were pretty damn close to World War III during that time. Now, it's going to get even scarier whenever the United States and uh, China start kind of picking at each other over Taiwan. They already are. Jesus Christ, Taiwan! Oh my. <laughs> Whoa. Look at Taiwan. Just renewable energy everywhere. That is scary. It's like one little bird flies over Taiwan and it's going to get like fucking seared. From all the solar plants. There's a solar power plant on top of a nuclear power plant, and there's a wind power plant on top of a nuclear power plant. That's just, that's terrifying. That is horrifying right there. What about the Philippines? What are you doing? Wait, oh my god, if Taiwan looks like that, I want to see what Bob Rain and Qatar look like. Oh, oh god. Oh man, this is like, this is like trypophobia all over, all over again. Oh. oh my god, good lord. I have probably have one million surplus. Yeah, I, I doubt it. Like, you, like, in the desert, you can barely see it. You can just see, like, it just kind of pockmarked with all these, like, solar plants. And if you zoom in, you can see the wind. That's one way to stop China invading. But Eritrea. My favorite thing is these cities right here that literally look like that like some guy just like jumped on like Google Draw like a uh, Microsoft Paint or something like that and just drew this up. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I am very like almost 100% certain that is exactly like, these kind of make sense. You can actually see, like, the city and all that. Kind of looks a little bit better. But then you just have these cities where it's just like, oh, yeah, hey, Microsoft Paint. Don't even worry about it. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Apparently in New Jersey, the governor won. The governor won that election, but a commercial direct driver and Republican Ed Durer will defeat the state's Senate president. And we just got hit by a gas attack. Are you kidding me? The city was the target of a chemical attack. Deaths are too many. This is a real nightmare. It would seem that the attack was airborne. I'll keep you informed. Oh, uh, I don't want. I really don't want to look at the casualties. Was this in Gory? It looks like it was in Gory. Four hundred and thirty-six people have lost their lives, and one thousand three hundred and eighty people have been wounded in this attack. Let's go ahead and send an emergency supply of a hundred million dollars. Four hundred and thirty-six people. 
Sporting defeat. Yeah, I bet. Sour grapes. Eh, we'll get them in four years since we did that. I see them when I cover my eyes when I see them competing. It's literally, it's literally like you just have someone and they just go run a hundred meters and then they go like run a hundred meters backwards. Declare martial law. Now it is the time. Well, I mean, I think it would make more sense to declare a state of emergency. Let me look. Legislation and declare a state of emergency. Governments declare a state of emergency when immediate danger is caused by serious disturbance of public order. Police powers are considerably increased during state of emergency and they may sometimes infringe laws designed to protect the fundamental liberties of the citizens. Police do not allow strikes during states of emergency because of the danger of increased disturbances. It actually does make a little bit of sense. Let's see what happens whenever I declare a state of emergency. All right, let's, after this, we're going to wait until it goes away. We're going to see what happens to our approval rating. I'm going to go ahead and declare state of emergency. That's actually my favorite thing about this game, is clicking on these things and then seeing the graphics in the background. Alright, let's see what the reaction to the state of emergency is. In these grave times, the primacy of the state and the law must be vitally affirmed. Therefore, in the interests of safety and welfare of all, I have decided to declare a state of emergency throughout our nation. And yes, it is throughout the nation. It can't be just one region. I actually think that is a good idea. I need to send that over to Eversim now after the stream. Uh, of a, a, be, well, actually, that doesn't make sense. If because if I wanted to declare a state of emergency in Abkhazia, that still doesn't stop them from coming into Georgia and launching attacks against Georgia. That was 808, and then I just declared a state of emergency like six days later. State of emergencies can be for several reasons, yeah. Um, because the thing about it is, is like, let me actually go over here. Let me see what the difference between state of emergency and martial law is. Martial law establishes an exceptional state uh, in which the army maintains law and order. The armed forces are authorized to intervene without restriction in order to maintain public security of the country. Martial law also means that all forms of assembly are banned. No demonstrations of any kind are allowed during the duration of this exceptional state of affairs. So, yeah. Um, I mean... Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? The game literally just froze. Would it be worth asking them to be a political party? Well, that was it. That is if I were to... Um, that would be as a, that would be if I uh, had them as a party, and I actually tried to do them to do that. Do it, then you can say I am the Senate. 
Nate Verde. What the hell is Felonius Gru? I, I saw that in an AFM stream. I have no idea what the hell this Felonius Gru is. Here, let me just do a simple, simple Google search of this. I knew it was, I knew, I knew it was Gru from, from, um, Despicable Me. Despicable Me is actually one of the last, like, one of the most recent actual good movies that was actually made. I don't know. Felonius Grew North Dakota. What is Felonius Grew to North Dakota? I don't get these inside jokes. Anyway, let's continue forward with our state of emergency. I'm surprised, like, there's not that much of a public reaction against the, uh, state of emergency. Authoritarianism. Authoritarianism. Authoritarianism is kind of based. Take Star Wars, for example. The Republic actually had zero idea of what they were doing. And they basically were just trying to fight against the authoritarian, but then said, like, as soon as they got into power, they were just like, oh, ho, ho, what the hell are we doing? And the Empire, as even though, as as the funeral why is my take my cabinet is literally dying. Um, but yeah, like, I think it's and the Empire, as much as you know, they were actually kind of pretty crappy. They weren't. Uh, I don't know. The independent Waluigi is up in the polls. Wow. You've checked. It's as if I didn't see you literally saying all of this in the AFM stream yesterday. Holograms. Enough bullying it as it is. St. Petersburg to the Georgia coast. Uh oh, he's going right for my, he's going right for my oil, oil rig. Should I blow it up? Can you have Marshall on state of emergency at the same time? Yes, you can. Oh yes, let's send some freight to the United Kingdom.
declare war on the American on a ripoff American state of Georgia. Should I? Are you out, Georgia? Right here. We're actually in the midst of the American presidential campaign of 2028 right now, so we're gonna wait to see. I really want to see by the end of this episode what the uh, uh, the presidential election results are going to be in uh, the United States. We have about one more year before we have to run for election. We are a parliamentary system, no longer a presidential system. We are replicating exactly what the Georgians are doing in real life. How much moolah for you to nuke? I don't have nukes. But I'll say a hundred dollars. <laughs> like inflation is kind of going down. Oh, Ukraine, let's go. Need to. Oh yeah, we need to renegotiate a contract with the Ukraine. Uh, so I think it was steel. So let's look. Georgia. 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 So steel. When does this expire? The twenty sixth. Literally, wow, that was actually really good timing, Ukraine. So that is going to expire in 2020 in two in like tomorrow, like in the game. It expires tomorrow. September 25th is today. September 26th is tomorrow. So we're going to renegotiate steel. We need 309 at least 232 tons. 232,000 tons worth of uh, steel. We're probably going to try to get a million. That way we can kind of like still have more to work with. I like to have an oversupply. I swear to God, I'm going to ban HP or something. <laughs> Helicopters, rare earth oxides. When did these expire? We have about a year before we need to re renegotiate it. Well, less than a year. Way less than a year. Then we need to renegotiate contract as uh, copper as well. Let's go ahead and suppress this contract. That way we don't need to. We're also going to suppress the steel contract as well. Can you declare an alliance with the Kirkus longest Waluigius Gruist Empire of North America? Oh my god. Oh my god. I have the greatest idea for power and revolution. I need to get in contact with AFM. <laughs> AFM, if you're out there. <laughs> I have an idea for this game. I have an idea. I'm going to do the I'm going to do like a Mark Kirk series. Is PG joining the Kirkus Empire? Good morning. Did PG finally give in? Find out in the next episode. Sure. Do you? I'm gonna do like a mod where it's literally like everyone in the world is Mark Kirk. Temper your word. Wow, okay, Ukraine. Okay, so imports, let's do cement. We need coal. Five twenty four. Seven fourteen. And we're going to add a clause. We don't need oil because we already have a supply of oil from ourselves. Rice, robots, sheep, tea. What are we looking for? We're looking for steel. Steel, 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 steel. Iron. No. Iron, 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 iron. No, not iron. It's a fuck. I'm literally forgetting. Steel. Oh, yes. Look at that. We're going to get over a. We're going to try to shoot for about a $2 billion. I heard you can make AI voices of streamers now. Hell yeah. Let's 
let's do 101. Steel, and what was that other one? What was that other one that we needed? Um, I need to go back. Trying to figure out what resources we need. Canceled a contract a couple minutes ago. <laughs> okay, that was actually good. What do I need? Cook it. Kirk Anium? Kirk Anium? <laughs> it was steel, the supreme metal. <laughs> okay, that shit's good. That was good. I hate I hate the Mark Kirk shit, but that was funny. So it was steel. I'm gonna start calling it the Kirkium. No, but I am gonna name this contract like Mark Kirk. Holt on track or something something about mark kirk rare earth oxide no that was with brazil copper it was copper we need copper and it said in ancient times that this contract was negotiated by former senator of illinois mark kirk himself Oh man, I'm never gonna recover from this. So 2028, 20, nine, uh, 30, 31, 32, 33. So we don't have to negotiate it again until 2033. We're gonna put all of this into one contract. That way, um, it's all just kind of like together. doing in Georgia what am I doing in Georgia I'm tattle <laughs> 633 ah oh, yes let's go Let's go. Agreement signed on October 1st, 2028, and termination date will now be 2033. So we don't have to negotiate it again until the turn of the decade. And I think if we if we if we continue on to 2033, we're probably going to try to get them all um Uh, we're going to try to get it to last until the 2040s. Scientific cooperation. Cold fusion. We're actually not going to worry about that. Bionics. Jurassic. Military. Yeah, let's actually work together on a... To total budget will be five billion dollars. But its budget is too high for the Ukrainian. Agro food, ICT, military. Ultimate tank. Elite fighter jet. Okay, let's do an elite fighter jet. Let's do three billion dollars for both countries. Well, actually, let's do 
$4 billion. Ah, uh, eh, we'll negotiate something later. Any camera bought a drone, brought a second phone. We have strong suspicion. Zoink, Scoob! Am I gonna say that every time that that that, that message pops up? Meet separate phone calls to Zimbabwe. No, wait, 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 wait. This guy's making calls to the Kirks. He's in contacts with the Kirk, with the Kirk regime. <laughs> it's like it's like a secret society in Georgia. It's like a secret society in Georgia, where literally. I enlisted the Marines heading for basic tomorrow. Hey, glad to, glad to see that you're wanting to serve your country. Thank you for your service already. Realization. Cool. I think we can lift the state of emergency. Oh, look at that. That's what a that's what a state of emergency does right there. Crime rates was 3.6 and it plummeted plummeted to 1.1. What is my total crime rate right now? Oh, wow. Look at that. That is what a state of emergency does, ladies and gentlemen. Have fun, it's going to be the worst experience of your life for four months. <laughs> hey, take it, take it from Quackshot, take it from Quackshot. He's actually in the military, deployed in South Korea right now. And again, Quackshot, thank you so much for your service. If there's any uh, military service members out there, I always want to thank you for your service, even though you haven't said anything. If you have served in the military, if you're currently serving in the military, or if you're a former uh, uh, first responder, I absolutely appreciate everything that you do, and thank you for your service. And if you're watching this and you're not any of those, if you do see those, if you see a cop, if you see a firefighter, EMT, um, if you see a, uh, a service member, um, do thank them for their service. I do that all the time. It's actually funny. I actually made a. Uh, I actually said that to an EMT uh, whenever I was um, working one day, and whenever they, whenever I kind of like said, "Hey, thank you for your service," they were like, "What? No one's ever done that to me. Thank you." Dismantling of the Abkhazia Free Front's group secret laboratory. Now this is what we've been looking for. Our services have just stopped a whole Abkhazia Free Front team which have prepared to launch a wave of attacks across the country. In our laboratory, we also seized computer files that roll out dismantling of a large part of their network. It's a hard blow for their organizations. Need a hard blow to this organization. So what are we at right now? Three, still three. Are they capped at like only three? Like, what do I have to do to stop them from growing? Oh, this is what I was going to look up. So that was on it. In secret laboratory of Kazuya Free Friends Terrorist Manufacturing Edible Bombs. According to our information, Terrorist Organization is preparing to create an abominable product nicknamed Big Bang Soda. This drink contains a chemical that, once ingested, caused an explosive reaction, and the body of gold is not to make innocent people swallow it, but to send a volunteer to blow himself up in sensitive places such as trains and airplanes. Jesus. Christ. Newspapers in this game are just wild. So growth rate is now at 6%. Biggest cat in the world has died of a heart attack after eating after an eating competition at the International Festival of the Cat. <laughs> Boris Lunkin victim of an incredible car accident.
For reasons yet to be determined, the GPS suddenly indicated a right turn. That did not exist. Despite a crash barrier, Lunkin was unable to avoid the ravine that was indeed deep and the vehicle fell several meters. Lunkin regained consciousness in the middle of a heap of sheet metal, uh, miraculously unharmed with only two broken ribs and a big fright. Spooky and just in time for October. Also, we did get rid of that state of emergency. Apparently, state of emergencies are actually really good. I want to see. See, see, now crime is back up. <laughs> that is called a state of emergency right there. That is the effects of a state of emergency. I want to see what martial law does with crime. No one else is going to go out whenever the military is outside of their door. But I'm, it's actually really cool to see that you can declare a state of emergencies and literally... I literally had a state of emergency up for like two months. Nothing happened. Maybe declare a state of emergency if you ever go to war or something like that. Martial law, PG, never. map oh look at those green relations with the european union so those are strategic what about economic bulgaria apparently doesn't like me economically italy's kind of like eh. malta doesn't like me apparently monaco is a thing oh yeah look at that the Mon Mon monaco navy what's their military strength they're not even playable. Yeah, I can't wait to play as a thirteen thousand like I I don't I don't know what the it's called. They built ninety. Jesus Christ, France is about to do the same thing. Ah, oh, Germany, what's up? No, Germany fell to the spiel of like building a bunch of renewable energy plants. And then Czech Republic. Slovenia's doing it. India could be a big ally. Dude. No, India hates me. Let's try this before we uh, leave for today. Join the European Union. You know what's funny? I literally dislike the European Union. But as an organization and the way they work... I actually really respect them. I, I I personally, if I was in Europe, if I, if I was living in Europe, I would not like to be a part of the European Union. But for gameplay purposes, and just out of respect for like what they do, the European Union is actually very interesting. It's like a supranational entity. Like, tell me that's. Not cool. <laughs> Let's give Bulgaria some money so they can so they can uh <laughs> give Bulgaria some money so they can accept me as a member of the European Union. Am I a giver now in aid? No, I'm still a receiver. Thirty helicopters to deliver. Let's go. Yeah, can Kirkus help me get into the European Union? I promise that this gameplay will not stop until we are a member of the European Union. That would have been funny if they actually accepted me. They're just like, oh, we heard you. Oh, at least with the European reform group is a little bit more for me now. But it looks like the same countries are still against us. Ireland, for whatever reason, I don't know why. Malta, we need to figure out. 
Romania, doesn't matter. Slovakia. I don't know why. Sweden, I don't know why. Well, Sweden, I think they're the only one that we're like, yeah. Apparently, we're not too great with Sweden right now. I mean, I could literally just say, approve this law. We could, we could just slip into the European... Wait, why did I do that? I literally just X'd out of it. General in chief. The funeral was died. So proposed 1019 and voted on. So it takes about about a week for that to happen. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. They actually changed this. Okay, this is actually good for us. Required vote. So someone in the European Union changed the voting law that for admission of a new country into the European Union, it used to be unanimous. And it I think it still usually is unanimous. But someone in the European Union changed the law in which... The required vote now to admit into the European Union it must be 55% of countries that represent 65% of the population of the European Union. The blocking majority can be a minimum of four countries representing 35%. We got up to 50% of the countries. So we literally just need to flip like one large country. And we're in. This is a lot easier. That way we don't have to literally like flip a bunch of these votes just to make them abstain. I think if we can flip, we need to look. We just need to flip Italy. We need to work with Italy and get them to flip that vote. If Italy flips that vote, we're in. Okay, this is good. This is really fucking good. We need to start increasing relations with Italy. But Italy is the key. Italy is going to be the key. If anything, we could try to improve relations with Sweden. So Italy is really close because they're they're not supporting us. Refused. Membership was refused. I get that. Yeah, I know. We need to meet with Italy. What other types of diplomacy can we do? This is exciting, though, because... This is literally the closest we're going to get into getting into the European Union. Like, I, I have not been this close. Jesus Christ, Switzerland. But we are so close to getting into the European Union. We just need to flip Italy. Once we flip Italy, we are in. Because we're at 50%. With 65%, with 65%, we... I think it literally said it. Voting session, okay. This is... Oh man, I'm so excited to get into the European Union. But then there is the problem that we need to get a majority of seats in the European Parliament. Or we could flip maybe Bulgaria or 
Maybe Finland? Or Romania could. We could flip Romania. So yeah, we are definitely over that 65% of the population of the European Union. So we could either flip Romania or we could flip Italy. They won't accept. They won't accept the foreign exchange program. If they could do that, I'm pretty sure that we would be able to do it and we would be in, but they really don't want to do that because I am a small country. What are my relations with Romania? 62-21. So maybe stronger economic relations? Maybe we need to figure out what else Romania is a part of. Or we could just like... Let's do a meeting request for the 6th. Oh, it's election day in America. We're gonna see... Meeting canceled. The pretext you... It still doesn't let me invite them even though like I'm not that much of a crisis. Membership refused. This. Oh, well, that's the WHO. United States. Prime Minister's party becomes a minority party at the National Assembly. Last night after an announcement of the second round results, population applauded Anna Wong. Wodmanski for the victory of our party, which comes majority party of 147 seats out of 460 altogether. So they are a presidential system. Wait. Prime Minister's designation by Parliament. Parliament had an extraordinary plenary session for Prime Minister's supposed designation with 31% of the votes, the re election. Not a surprise. That was in Poland. Uh, United States. When is the election in the United States? So it was on. It was on November 3rd, 2020, so it's gonna be November 6th. 2028. No. No, it's going to be November. Okay, so it's occurring today. No? So it was no. Oh, it was November 7th. It was the 7th. So it literally just occurred. So we're going to see the results in the next paper. Now it's Monday. We'll see the ele uh, results of the U.S. presidential election. There we go. Let's see the results. <laughs> Upturn on the unemployment as front as it drops to 4.20%. Let's go. Let's go. Our 
let's see the selection result. U.S., where are you at? Really? I like this. This is the best ad I've ever seen. HIV D. AIDS is gone. Farewell, Jesus. What's going on in France? Well, let's see what the election results were. Anyway. What the hell? So they kept, no, this is the 2024 election. So those elections haven't even occurred yet. Wait, when is the election? Here? Election is in nine days. Oh, oh yeah, it's because of the coup. That's because of the coup. There was a... I forgot that there was a military coup in the United States. So I'm guessing because of that coup, the election got delayed by a little bit. Next election, 13 days... What? And by the way, I am reading chat. Stop spamming chat with the Kirk thing. Come on. Oh my god, there's three hurricanes. Oh my god, both of them are merging together. No! Rocket of Jesus Christ! I do. Did men blew up a tourist bus. We register five dead as many seriously injured. After the rocket launcher attack, we put in place a range of security measures. When are you planning on ending the series 2040? Um, in between the 2030s and 2040s, somewhere around there. Depends on when I can ascend to the European oh, Union. Oh, infiltrated it. Um, it's, it, it, it's mainly because we're trying to join the European Union at this point. Literally, again, we just need to flip like one country, be it Romania or Italy. And if we can get one of those countries to flip in our favor... We're in the European Union. I would much prefer to flip Italy because Italy has a very large population. 60 million people join the European Union. We just need one flip. That's it. Okay, so I now I think that the... The prep... That the United States just had an election... 34 days. Why, why does... Why, what is going on in the United States? Every time there's, like, an election that's supposed to come up, like, it just keeps getting delayed for some reason. Georgia's so far from Europe, it's like getting Congo into the European Union.
Oh yeah, okay. It's because the election's already happened, and so it's uh, 41 days since the election. So they're waiting to inaugurate their new president. Good morning. POV, POV, you're in China. Content not available. <laughs> Purchasing. <laughs> Who's Kirk? That failure, Senator. Yeah, I was the former Republican senator of the state of Illinois. I get a couple I get a couple of things every now and then, but whenever you're just kind of like just you're the only one like just saying something, that's whenever you get a timeout. Do it all in one message. Don't send like 50 messages of one joke. That's how you get timed out. Five hundred eighteen million dollars cash surplus. Good news. This is now the year twenty twenty nine. See if the United States has a new president yet. Oh, conservatives got it. Nope, never mind. Is that a five? He has a five percent unemployment uh, unemployment rate. Uh, <laughs> approval rating. I really want to see who this new president is. Twenty twenty eight ninety five percent. So I assume seven point two five percent growth of the Georgian economy. So the economy grew nearly ten percent. GDP is now at fifty forty nine billion dollars, but we're gonna estimate it and say fifty billion. Six percent growth. 9% inflation. I guess let's go ahead and lower the interest rate to 15%. Should decrease. It's a measure that will encourage consumption. People and businesses will borrow more, favoring the same. At the same time, the increase of the GDP, not to mention the reduction of unemployment. The other side of that story, if demand increases, the price might follow a rise over time. There is an inflationary risk. Here are the G. Let's try an import contract from Italy. What can I import from Italy? People inflation around 3%, you think? Is 
the hell happened in Italy? Don't tell me. Why are there so many coups? What? <laughs> are you kidding me? Well, okay, I got that. 17 likes. Hey, guys, go ahead and like and subscribe. You know, uh, if you guys like these uh, series, apparently the Georgia one is pretty popular. About to hit $50 billion. There was a coup in Italy. Wait, wait, hang on. I think we can do it. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a conservative rightist in power. He has to support me. Bo -bo -bo -bo. Other organizations join the European Union. Let's try to join the European Union again, and then if we don't, then that's going to be the main focus of the next one. Italy, it's all on you. Our next series should be Iran. And yeah, I was thinking Greece. Because there is a very, 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 very certain economic challenge to Greece. Literally, like, you owe the European Central Bank more money than you actually uh, have borrowed from any other country. Catastrophe is coming. Ooh, let's go. The funeral. HP, if you keep doing this, I'm going to have to put you... I'm literally going to have to hide you from the channel. You need, you need to stop. We have strong suspicion. Oh, crap. Oh, actually, yay! I forgot if I did that or not. 270. I don't even think it's that hot. I don't even think it's... Well, is it? Well, that's uh, right now, but they have actually substantially lowered it. We've proceeded. Aha. Form the Byzantine Empire as Greece, yeah. As Greece, we're gonna retake Constantinople. Come on, Italy. Come on, Italy. Oh, it's unanimous. What? What? It. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Swear to God, we're gonna cheat our way into the European Union. Be Greece at Italy and work with the other to become Imperator. Imperator? Is it Imperator or Imperator? I'm only just I'm only just recently getting into like the lore of the Roman Empire. Which the Roman Empire, Jesus Christ, like the Roman Empire is so insane. That they literally had this like advanced civilization, like, you know, two thousand years before we built ours, and and then they just they just fell apart. No one knows why. No one... There's all these reasons as to why they collapsed, but... But the, the Roman Empire was, like, insane. Not even that. They literally, they literally, like, were from, like, Iraq all the way up to Britannia, to the United Kingdom, all the way up to Scotland. Right around here. Imperator. Imperator. 
it was the barbarians. It wasn't just the barbarians, though. It wasn't just Germania. It wasn't just... Um, I forgot the name of them. The Elysians or something? They were literally in this region right here. Like the the Balkan region, but the, I can't remember their name right now. We have really good relations with Bosnia and Herzegovina, though. Are they a part of NATO? Please tell me they're a part of NATO. Uh, NATO? They are. Good. We are also allied with Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, Montenegro, Albania, the Republic of North Macedonia, Bulgaria, Romania, Greece, Turkey, and obviously us. Yugoslavia. That I'm not talking about Yugoslavia. Obviously Yugoslavia was right here. I'm talking about like the Romans. Like these were this was not Yugoslavia during the Roman period. It was Okay, this is going to kill me before I even They called it Um What do they call it? Wis Illyria, 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 Illyrium. That's what they called it. It was the Illyrians. Yeah. They especially had a really hard time with the Illyrians over here. It wasn't just Germania. It wasn't just Gaul. It wasn't just uh, the Illyrians. Yeah, they were having a lot of hard time, like, keeping these regions together, but um yeah, it was it was a very, very large amount of uh of things that um made the Romans collapse. See we should reform the Roman Empire, but they're just expanding over here. To just take over Turkey and Greece. Okay, now that it's passed. Okay, so they did get a new president. Center left. Bernie Sanders looks like he stepped aside. Next election, 79 days. Let's see what the electoral map looks like. Yeah, pretty much the same. Okay. Um, another big issue in Rome was their banking system. They relied on millionaire senators to fund the military instead of a taxation system. Well, I mean, didn't they have taxation systems, but it was very disorganized? Like, it wasn't until, like, Napoleon, whenever... Everyone was just like, oh, we should all just tax everyone, like, instead of just going off of, like, different taxing systems in all these different areas. Basically, every country was, like, some sort of weird confederation until, until like, Napoleon came along and was just like, hey, here's a central banking system, and here's a, a lot of other things. Like, a, here's a central code for laws. But the Romans, uh, like most big empires, well, mostly the Eastern Empire, collapsed because of the corrupt elite in Rome. Anyone who could see the threat, who said they, anyone who they seen as a threat, they would assassinate, make all EU countries dark green, increase food quality. So yeah, let, let's actually. <laughs> please tell me. Ugh, that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing right there that we did not have those fully funded. Um, but, guys, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you guys want to see some more content like this, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything on this channel. 
guys want to see more uh, Republic of Georgia, please let me know. If you guys are interested in seeing either... Gre do you want me to do Greece? Or do you want me to do somewhere in the Middle East? Probably Iran or Saudi Arabia or something like that. Probably Iran. I haven't done Iran since, like, way early back. Like, way before I even hit 500 subscribers. I haven't done Iran in a long time. It's actually the one thing that I played uh, on, a, on a Twitch. Um... You show up on AFM stream, maybe. Um, North Dakota seeds secedes from the United States. I actually could. I have the modding tool. North Dakota, the Supreme Dakota. But I do want to do Greece because Greece is a part of the European Union, and they are a very substant. They are they are in a very tricky situation economically like um, again they owe more money in the game in the beginning of 2021 in the game they owe more money to the european central bank than they do to any other country that they're indebted to so that's going to be a challenge to pay off the european central bank uh and and go on from there so guys leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new if you guys want to see more content like this hit that bell notification icon so you miss any streams whenever i do go live i do not have any streaming schedule as of right now I do not have any content schedule as of right now. I am still going to, uh, I'm still getting ready to start the Brazil series. Uh, there's a couple of things that I'm trying to uh, uh, get in line before I start another series on Power and Revolution. That way I don't, you know, drop off like I did on the United States. Uh, but uh, again, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Take care.